today i will show you a new project that is malware detection by deep learning so this is a machine learning based project so before like explanation of this project i want you to like this video and subscribe this channel because this is very important as this channel will grow and more students will get benefited from this project so let's go through this project see in this project uh, we have used malware data set then we have analyzed it then we have visualized it then we have applied a deep learning algorithm now okay but what is malware detection why see before few years back everyone was using some types of uh, different types of uh, um, antivirus crispy macfi qkill and there are many different virus even for phone has also came recently but if you will ask me or some other person what is trending nowadays so trending is only two technology first is a machine learning data science and second is a uh, blockchain correct uh, third is cloud two but for like applying algorithm for your project uh, for that this two blockchain and machine learning is very important so even the famous uh, antiviruses also are using nowadays different types of new algorithm to make it more secure trusted and powerful and uh, make it different from other antivirus so that people can trust and people can buy it so recently this all things were going on if you will search on google also the in last two or three years there are many different types of research paper has came in this deep learning and machine learning and also especially about malware detection but for specific uh, uh, project where we have used real types of malware and use of deep learning is very very less even if you will go through this project you can use this work and publish uh, make it a new project and make it a new research paper and published even in a good international journal so let's go through this uh, project first uh we will talk about machine learning we will talk about what what are the problems we will talk about pro pro proposed solution and then some diagrams and later we will see how to implement this project see as we all know what is malware if you you will ask any layman person don't see uh, this ppt you just uh, <laughs> understand what is malware so malware is something which is used to restrict your system performance or malware is something which is used to take your important data or you can say malware is something which is compromise or uh, different types of viruses or uh, worms trojan horses if you use some um, pirated website a uh, website which is restricted website which is not secure so those website mainly contain different types of malware even when we use a good type of uh, you can say antivirus it show us sometime that uh, please don't use this please don't open this uh why because it tells you that there is some type of uh, security negligence or there is some type of uh, malware or you can say even hackers are sitting there so to protect your system so don't visit those sites but what happen now like even we download something we do something we don't know our system firewall get broken if, if it is not getting broken then it is getting download it somehow and it is getting uh, like saved in your system how that those prefetch cache temporary files all are the uh, you can say small or different types of malware only now how this system going to protect see in this system you can use or uh, you can give a different types of data set which contain real malwares now if you will ask me that which data set i have used in this see i have used in this real malware data set now you will think how see there is a website in india and world i, <laughs> I don't know you know about it not that is known as torrent torrent dark web different different website so we have extracted some malware names especially blockchain hashes means like those which are now getting very famous which have a high visitor uh, websites so we are using uh, we are you can say we are extracting data set from those website then we are making a data set in csv format csv is com uh, see what csv c uh, comma separated value sorry 
so csv is comma separated value file like you say excel file okay json file same as that there is one csv file so we go, got to know about that we are using malware data set good great now how many how much so you will get surprised that we are not using any 100 200 or 300 we are using more than the 50000 yes correct we are using more than 90000 <laughs> so that's why it is new and unique now let's take you through the another slide that's very important so we are using machine learning in this we got to know about that mm, and in machine learning if you will see now what was in existing project that you and this project you are making differently see in this uh, in existing projects some have used different types of malware al algorithms uh, like there is decision tree random forest gradient boost svm they are they have used different different types of malware algorithm but on deep learning work is very new or work is not been done so much so that's why we are using this project and in this project if you will see uh, if you will ask me what is deep learning so deep learning is a subset of machine learning as machine learning is a subset of uh, artificial intelligence and if you will ask now like uh, any software engineer real time what is this machine learning artificial intelligence see machine learning is learning the machine of uh, making the machine to learn something from us how like we give it data suppose that you are a robot suppose that so as a robot what i will do with you i will tell you that see this is a mouse okay so this is in red in color great and this uh, weights about you can say 100 grams or if i say that uh, this is a phone this is black in color this is a poco phone chinese one <laughs> so <laughs> this size is like about 6 inches so we will tell again and again about different uh, stuff different technologies of different we will give it as a data set like if i uh, tell for another mouse that this is a dell mouse this is also wireless so now as your robot you will get start differentiating you will said say that earlier the previous mouse was uh, red in color logitech and now this is a dell black in color so same as that as a like a child or you can say as a human i am training you that see this one is this this one is this so when i will train you 100 times so on 101 times you will be a bit strong again you can tell me answer you can predict about 90 percent that which mouse is red in color or which is uh, which mouse so means you can differentiate easily so that's the machine learning okay even you know like uh, google is using that how it is using let me tell you see like when you explore something on google now suppose that you if you want to buy shoes t-shirts and any stuff so after like one hour two hour even after like 24 hour google read your search history so that's why now everyone is saying that use brave browser DuckDuckGo go browsers and all but i'm telling you google chrome mozilla whatever they all are doing so they are taking data set from you in search history then they are applying some machine learning ai algorithms and then they are predicting or you can say then they are giving you recommendation of uh, those t-shirt shoes uh, for you which is the best and which is the uh, good prices so that's yes that is advertisement but google is learning from that so that's how ai work that's how machine learning helps so uh, let me take you th through the code i will not waste your time so much so wait a this is your code and like if you will mail me or contact me on whatsapp then i will send you it's not a big deal mm, and this is your data set i have kept on github for that and you have to just uh, open this uh, uh, notebook and you can open on visual studio notebook you can open on anaconda notebook even you can open on this uh, google collab this is a google collab is a uh, python compiler platform uh, for compiling your or uh, running your code but usually it do block by block seen when we say id 
so it is of like two types interpreter and compiler but it's usually a uh, like interpreter because it run block by block and after that you have to just uh, start running or you have to just click on this button and you have to click uh, means like when you will do see like this it show a green tick mark which means that it has been run successfully and same as that you have to start running block by block block by block so see here we have started uh, data analysis because in uh, when we make uh, any project which is ai or machine learning based so data analysis is very important as you know eda very important so we are doing that then again we are visualizing that how this is the data so let's go through the algorithm part that's very important so see this is your algorithm part let me show you one second we have used here tensorflow because this is a deep learning project so that's important here we have done import tensorflow stf why we have used it? have you think about that see when we make a, any python project now a python application so we have to import some kind of libraries and when libraries is already present or already developed by some other users or some other developer so we should uh, we have to you can say uh, as extract those libraries in, in our project we can make it this library our, ourselves also but it will take a lot of time lots of code so it's better to take that library import tensorflow stf what is this like uh, in mathematics we say na that take uh, this uh, price be this x means like let, let take mango this be x okay so same as that we use a import tensorflow stf so sometime like uh, even when i see many student message me that we are getting a uh, error in tensorflow and all do you know why because they haven't installed tensorflow so for that you have to take a new and a new code and you have to do pip install tensorflow then you have to run then it will run easily no problem in that and when you will do that okay so after that the this approach means like uh, learning it will start giving you result see we are getting 99 percent here any machine learning algorithm or any machine learning project which gives you about 90 percent so people consumers client trust those project that's a unique we have used even keras and all so we are getting pretty 99 percent which is great uh, about this project so we can tell that when we will use a machine learning algorithm or uh, especially deep learning uh, so and other side when we will get a data set so when we will combine it combining means like we will use first uh, taking data set second we will uh, do data analysis third testing and training of that data and fourth applying of machine learning algorithm like i have used in this project as a deep learning so you can also use this uh, work for your project and suppose that if you want documents and like project code of this project which i have done you can just mail me or contact me we will do some changes if you want there is no restriction in it and thank you guys thank you for listening me <laughs> and please like this video and subscribe this channel that's very important i have just started it so if you will do subscribe of this channel it will be a motivation for me thank you guys